Hello. Hey, Lou. How you doing? Oh, I'm fine, Dan. Good to hear from you. Yeah, yeah. Glad the phone's working today. Nice and clear. Oh, is it? Okay, good. Oh, yeah, no, no. You know, it was, it was a really uh, funny thing last time we talked, yeah. uh, last Sabbath. The phone hadn't worked for, oh, since the middle of the week before you called. And then it hadn't worked that day. I was not able to get any phone calls. It was nothing but really <laughs> loud static. And then you called, and it came through. Hmm. And it was just long enough for us to say a few words. Yeah. And then it went back to solid static again after we hung up. <laughs> oh, boy. Yeah. I well, think, I, think, I think that probably was... Uh, Yahushua allowing you and I to communicate just for a brief moment. Yeah. Oh, and he probably wanted us to say something that we wouldn't have otherwise said. That yeah. could very well be. Yeah. But it didn't clear up for two more days after you and I made that brief, uh, brief little talk mm -hmm. last Sabbath. Oh, it's so great to hear from you, I tell you. <clears throat> yeah, I'm, it's uh, good to get to talk to someone that's on the same page, I'll yeah. tell you. <laughs> Yeah, well, you know, it's uh, it's a matter of learning and not arguing about little things that we don't really need to argue about. I, I, someone, I, well, I remember uh, someone called me earlier this week, and they, they happened to be passing through, and I watched the five people of a family get immersed into the name of Yahusha, and they have they were Seventh-day Adventists, formerly, all their lives, and then they 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 were immersed. And I'll wow. tell you, Phyllis and I were just standing there watching, and it was the most moving experience that we've had in years. Uh, I can imagine. Wow. <clears throat> anyway, that's, it was, uh, that's, uh, that's really a good thing. I mean, they had a lot of truth to start out with, but there were some, some strongholds that they were probably having a really hard time getting over, and then, oh, yeah. uh, and then someone said something, and it made sense to them. And uh, Yahushua's uh, spirit moved them. Yeah, the yoke is so light and easy that they just can't believe how easy it is when they turn it over to him. And that's what you have to do on a daily basis. Just keep it simple. Oh, yeah. And absolutely. Encourage one another. Instead of looking at the little thing that you might perceive as being a problem. Oh, you don't understand the future right, you know. Or the moon, <laughs> the moon. Uh, you know, it's, oh, did you hear that? I heard a big earthquake just now oh yeah yes did you hear the earthquake no I oh yeah it was here it was here in our area wow <clears throat> did you feel it yeah I could hear it it was like thunder boom you know wow oh, that's something yeah we've had uh, um, the weather has been really different here we've had uh, well, it's been halfway decent. I mean, it was like in the 30s and, and uh, 40s all week. And then now, all last night and today, it's been a, a solid wind. And it was like, it's like in the 20s out here. And it froze. You know, the ground's got a crust on it. And the remaining uh, celery and kale that I had out in the garden, it's froze now. But uh, it might have come back probably if it warms up a little bit. But, uh, mm -hmm. yeah, I just... I think uh, I think summer's coming to an end here. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty much over. Last night we had our first freeze. We woke up to about 25 degrees Fahrenheit. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, we were 22 here this morning. Mm. So I've been getting things ready, you know, for for winter. You know, draining down water systems and you know putting things away, getting mm -hmm. winterized like I do every year. Yeah, I drain my rain barrels and. And I looked around and looked for anything that might be frozen, and you know that stuff breaks easy. You know. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. I have my water system, my irrigation system. I drain it down and blow all the lines out. Mm -hmm. They're buried in the ground, but they're only like a foot deep, so they will freeze if yeah. it you know gets too cold. Mm -hmm. So I blow them out with uh, 200 pounds of air pressure to get all the water out of them. So that way it's all good to go. I built a greenhouse this year. Oh, that's yeah. great. Yeah. Not quite finished with it yet, but uh, I've got to make doors for it. But it's small, 9 by 12, mm -hmm. but uh, it's all polycarbonate panels. And uh, yeah. hopefully, uh, you know, I'll gain maybe a couple months, you know, one mm -hmm. in the spring and one in the fall, the extended uh, growing season, you know. 
Well, we're going to try to go for the vertical thing uh, next spring and uh, get some ideas about trellises and things. We've got a few. Oh, but, yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. It, it works out. You know, cucumbers and, uh, and uh, uh, tomatoes do good like mm -hmm. that, mm -hmm. if you can grow them that way. So what have, you been, what have you been thinking about the last week or two? Oh, the last month, five weeks, whatever. Uh, basically, it's all these, these, uh, these doctrines that are being uh, mm -hmm. propagated out there. That are, oh. You know, join my club. You know, this is what we believe and why, and, you know, you're not going to make it otherwise. And they're just they're, they're going against uh, Scripture but they don't realize it. They're, they're, yeah. they're quoting Scripture to disarm Scripture is what they're trying to do. And it's, it's pretty sad. I mean, there's, there's one thing I get in the mail here from this one group in West Virginia. It's like they're, they're bashing the, uh, the feast days again and all that. And it's like, what? You know, let's kind of get off that wagon, you know? Yeah. <laughs> well, Zechariah, or Zechariah 12, isn't it? Or is it 14? Yeah, it's 14, I believe. Fourteen, yeah. Talks about the feast, the feast of Sukkoth, or tabernacles in the Latin, you know, mm -hmm. tense. And that's after he comes. So I've asked pastors, what, uh, what's the deal with the uh, Sabbath that he's talking about in the scriptures? And it's not our the Sabbath the Christians observe. And and then what about the festivals? Uh, he even mentioned some of them after he comes back, and they act like they're in some kind of an interim period. Like there's a, well, you know, right now we're in an age of G-R-A-C-E, and then we're going to be going back and observing those things. And I said, well, why can't you do it now? Well, yeah. yeah. And, and, you know, uh, my understanding of Yahuwah is he doesn't change. Okay? <laughs> yeah. I know. <laughs> I read that somewhere, yeah. you know? Yeah, I read that somewhere, too. Yeah. Hmm. What are we doing? Yeah. We're feeding ourselves wormwood? You know? Yeah, in the interim period, the grace period, we're allowed to eat anything. Uh -huh. And then when Yahushua comes back, then we better just, you know, toe the line again, get with the program. Yeah. That doesn't really make a whole lot of sense, does it? No, <laughs> not really. But it seems like that's what these uh, people are being taught out there by the the, uh, the teachers, you know. Uh -huh. And, it's, uh, and, and they, these folks uh, that are teaching this stuff, they, they will not listen to you. And they just won't hear you, and they call you a heretic for, uh, you know, following your false doctrines like observing the feast days and, yeah. you know, not traveling on the Sabbath and using yeah. the name, of course, you know, instead of the false handles and titles. Yeah. You know, it's just uh, it's something else. They've been hypnotized, and uh, they've been, uh, they're under a delusion, you know. Right, yeah. that's the strong delusion, and they're the ones that are saying that uh, they're the elect, and they can't be deceived. I uh, know. Well, we're in a cult, don't you know? Yeah, we are, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and we're into, like, arguing little silly things, and, oh, yeah, this stuff that he lived by, that's all done away with. But uh, what do you think the most prominent activity is of all mankind throughout all time? What is the pro the most prominent mankind's most prominent activity? Well, I would have to be uh, I would have to say that it's uh, doing their own thing, in uh, you know not following uh, Yahuwah's plan. That's right. And what would that result in? It would, from his perspective. Now, from our perspective, our our most prominent activity might be progress and communication and understanding one another and of course love you know when you ask a uh, a contestant in a beauty contest what do you want the most well world peace world yeah, peace, world peace. <laughs> how do you get they all say that mm -hmm. well we, we're not talking about world peace right we're talking about world peace and you can't get that unless you obey the torah and obedience is fought against but uh if you had to sum it all up and I may be wrong, because I'm just a human being, but from the almost 70 years that I've been walking around on this planet, this giant ball of dirt and water and rock, most of which is melted, it's inside. But it may not be a ball to some people. It may be a flat pizza or whatever it is. But, well, like a CD, you know, yeah. Yeah. But uh, this, uh, this word sums it up, idolatry. 
I'm holding up a page, a piece of paper that says, a flashcard, idolatry. It seems to be mankind's most prominent activity in all of history. And I've, I'm going to write an article. I'm writing it now. As a matter of fact, I get the first page done. And I'm going to hold up a picture of it here. It's called Idolatry, Mankind's Most Prominent Activity. And uh, it's, it didn't start with the golden calf, although that was a form of it. But, uh, you know, we were well, talking started, about it. Yeah. yeah, it started way before that. Oh, man, yeah. Yeah. It was probably Nimrod, wasn't it? Babel, the bees? Oh, yeah. Yeah, more than yeah. likely. But isn't, isn't a, you know, an idol is, is a, an object of your affection? And mm -hmm. idolatry is basically anything other than putting you first. Yes, yes it is. That's what I was arriving at, and that would be from his perspective that he's given us. The mind of the flesh doesn't understand that because they don't have his point of view. So, uh, and I, Anyway, one of the definitions I found online uh, in a dictionary was uh, mankind's definition of idolatry is extreme admiration, love, or revering of something or someone, or the worship of a physical object or a person. Mm -hmm. You get that, you know. Yeah, yeah, that pretty much sums it up. Yeah, yeah. And that's from their perspective. And Yahuwah's definition is setting one's thoughts or action on anything above him. That's right. what, you, what you just said, because, <laughs> like you said, you have his mind, so he knows what he likes and what he doesn't like. And he gives an example of this through one of his prophets, and many of his prophets talk about it, but uh, particularly Yahshiyahu, the one they call Isaiah, chapter 44, verse 16. And it's right there in front of you. He's talking about a man will chop a tree out of a forest and he'll bow down to it uh, after he's carved part of it, and then he'll use the rest of it to warm himself in the, fl in the fire. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's foolishness. It's uh, it's wrong, and it's idolatry. But they make little physical objects. But it's more than that. I mean, idols can be many, many things. Oh yeah, absolutely. Anything that draws your attention away from mm -hmm. the, the way, the true way, which is Yahuwah. So I mean, uh, you know, uh, you hear people say, well, you know, money is the root of all evil. No, it's, it's the not love the love of, of money. money. Or anything. Or anything, for that yeah. matter. That's right. Mm -hmm. It leads to well, all sorts of things. Yeah. Well, you know, what, what does, uh, what does uh, commandment number one say? I am Yahuwah. There it is. Have no others against my faith. Ah, oh, I get chills when I hear that. That's awesome. Yeah. Look at that goose, I got goose flesh here. Oh, I love that commandment. And he, he's his name is right there, but they have, they've, uh, you know, hidden it. Well, that's right, yeah. They...